What's up guys and thanks for tuning in for another episode of Two Car Garage on our Yamaha Virago project. We are trying to fit this rear wheel in place of that one. Now that one is a 16 inch, this one's a 15 inch. This one has straight spokes, that one has the first generation Virago style swept spokes. Remember we're putting our Gixxer front end which has like straight normal spokes. So the biggest pet peeve of mine is when the wheels don't match because these are straight and the front Gixxer ones are gonna be straight, even though they're not the exact same wheel. Once they're powder coated the same color, it'll be pretty similar and I think it'll be indistinguishable to the untrained eye. So the problem is though, what parts are compatible and interchangeable between the newer Virago wheel and the older ones, I don't really know. Looking at the parts diagram is sort of a wash. Some match up, some don't, some cross over, some don't. So. The only way to find out is to take the old one off, try to fit the new one on, see what we need to do. Let's get to it. Here's the first test, seeing if the brake uh, drum hub thing fits inside of the new 15 inch wheel. It fits. Uh, that was actually my biggest concern, is if this brake hub fits. So let's make sure that the axle fits. Yep, same diameter hole. The last thing to check is to make sure that the splined hub does in fact engage with the rear diff here. So let's see. Looks great, actually. Wow. Um, it's actually a lot easier than I anticipated. Uh, let's make sure it all fits with the brake drum, the axle in, and everything like that. There's our hiccup. Looks like the whole setup now is too wide. One quick Google search let me know that the rim from the newer second gen Virago won't fit inside of it. I have to remove the uh, rear final drive here, the differential put it on the rim, and then put it all together sort of as one. I think this is the last hiccup that I need to solve is the axle. So you see it's pushed in all the way on this side up until that spacer goes there to separate the brake hub. But if you notice this other side here, the threads aren't coming out yet. So I think what we're going to need to do is use the axle from the more modern Virago, which probably has a longer, uh, you know, a longer narrow side compared to this wide side there. To the astute observer, you'll notice that the center line of the wheel isn't quite aligned with the center line of the monoshock. I mean, we're off by maybe a quarter of an inch or so. Uh, I don't think that's going to be a big deal. From what I'm reading online, everyone who does this conversion says that it doesn't really matter. In fact, some bikes even come from the factory with a slightly uh, offset rear wheel compared to the monoshock. And if everybody says that it feels okay while riding, honestly, one of the big things with building custom motorcycles is if it looks okay, then it is okay. If it feels good, then it is good. And just like that, I got an axle from the second gen Virago. And as you can see, it has the perfect amount of threads on this side for the washer, the nut, and the cotter pin. However, now the issue, it's always something, right? We're like trading problems here, is that this sticks out really far. Um, I mean, this hole is just to uh, like put a screwdriver in to twist the axle out. So I'm thinking what I'm going to do is in the chop saw, just slice this off, drill another hole in, um, and call it a day. Well, that sure does look a lot better. I trimmed it off and then chamfered the end. Uh, it would have been nice to have a grinding wheel on my bench grinder, and then I could have just rolled it on that. That would have been easy, but I threw it away or lost it or something. Um, so I just had to do it with a hand grinder. But yeah, chamfered it, cleaned out the inside. Perfect. I was, I'm thinking about drilling another hole in this uh, to make it easy to pull out, but 
Honestly, I'm not sure I need to, right? It's going to be greased. Uh, it's going to be freshly cleaned up and you can just put a pair of uh, pliers on it. There's enough uh, material there to just put some pliers on and pull it off. So I don't think that I'm going to drill another hole through it. Thank you guys so much for watching until the end as we do more and more work on our Virago project. We did our mono shock, we did our electrical, we did our rear tire. Next, I'm thinking we have to go to the front end. And that means pulling our Gixxer front end off of a donor bike and fitting it up onto here. So be sure you stay tuned for the next video. We'll see you then. Thanks.